everybody. The reading is taken from John 3, verses 13 to 21, and I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. And yet no one has ever gone up to heaven, but there is one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man himself, who is and dwells and have his home in heaven. And just as Moses lifted up the servant in the desert on a pole, so must the Son of Man be lifted up on a cross, in order that everyone who believes in him, who cleaves to him and trusts him, may not perish, but have eternal life and live for ever. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he gave his only begotten unique Son that whoever believes and trusts and relies on him shall not perish but have eternal everlasting life. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge or reject or condemn to pass sentence on the world, but that the world might find salvation and be made safe and sound through him. He who believes in him is not judged. He incurs no damnation, but he who does not believe, he is already judged and already convicted because he has not believed in and trusted in the name of the only begotten Son of God. He is condemned for refusing to let his trust rest in Christ's name. The judgment and the indictment, the ground for the sentence lies in this. The light has come into the world and people have loved the darkness rather than the light for their works and their deeds were evil. So every wrongdoer hates and loathes and detests the light and will not come out into the light but shrinks from it, lest his works, his deeds, his activities and his conduct be exposed and reproved. But he who practices truth, who does what is right, comes out into the light so that his works may be plainly shown to be what they are, wrought with God, divinely prompted, done with God's help and in total dependence upon him. May God bless this word to you all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm.